Really? Well, I'll help you out there. First of all, Zelensky is not just begging for money and weapons to get his people killed every day. He is fighting a war. He didn't volunteer for this. Ukraine was invaded. Second, I'll give you two examples in which actually United States of America was involved on either side. Example number one, during American Revolutionary War, uh, President at the time, George Washington, asked France for help, which was orchestrated and brought by Marquis de Lafayette. Americans make a lot of fun of the French, say, oh, they are cowards, and so on and so forth, but few realize that there might not be a United States of America today had it not been for French assistance during the Revolutionary War. Example number two. During World War II, this was before U.S. actually got involved. You know, this is before the D-Day, before all of that. So U.S. was not actively on the battlefield at the time. However, realizing what at the time Soviet Union was facing, because it was taking the brunt of the German invasion at the time, even though it was an enemy, and big time on the U.S. radar screen as a potential enemy going into the future, U.S. continued supplying the Soviet Union with the airplane fuel, ammunition, weapons, uh, rations for the soldiers, and so on and so forth. Why? Because at the time they realized Hitler was a greater threat than anything else. They were like, okay, let's beat this bastard Let's fix this, and then we'll deal with everything else. Would you have said during World War II, well, I can't imagine those European countries, I can't imagine the Soviet Union or the Great Britain keep begging for weapons and money and, and, and ammunition to keep the, getting their people killed every day. You wouldn't say that, would you? This is the same thing. Right now, Russia is the equivalent of Hitler. If they're not stopped where they are today, they're not going to stop, period. It's been said many, many times by people far smarter than I am that Ukraine is just the beginning. Okay? They're not going to stop. If they take Ukraine, they're going to be on the doorstep of Europe. Keep that in mind. Go read some history books. Thank you for watching.